Hey guys, today we have a room tour, and the reason I'm doing this is just so I can show you guys some of the products I own, so you can pick out which ones you want to see a review on. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's a quick pan of my desk. I like to keep only what I need on my desk at all times because it's nice and organized and I know where everything is. So this is the layout I actually use when I'm doing a video or any other work on my laptop itself. Starting on the left, these are my AHD2000 Denon headphones. These are high fidelity headphones, so they sound absolutely fantastic. I will be doing a review on these next week, so let me know if you want to see that in the comments below. Moving on up, you can see my Blue Yeti microphone. I record most of my videos with this, just like the one I'm recording right now. Behind that, you can see a 1TB hard drive, which is where I keep all my backups of every computer I own. Moving on over, you can see my Samsung monitor. This is sadly broken, and it makes a weird noise when I plug it in, so I don't use that anymore. Below that, we can see my Apple wireless keyboard. Sliding on over, you can see my MacBook Pro 15-inch Retina display model. This was released last week. This is the 2.6GHz model with a 512GB SSD. Now I've been having quite a few problems with this laptop, so I'm probably going to be taking it back, sadly, and I might pick up another model and see how that one runs. You can see by this video that it's been glitching out quite a bit recently, and on the screen at the moment you can see an error message because the laptop just crashed. Anyways, moving along you can see my Logitech MX Revolution mouse, this is extremely comfortable, as well as my Z5500 speaker control pod, up above, you can see my Klipsch Image 1 headphones sitting on top of the right speaker. And behind the laptop, you will find the center channel speaker. Let's open up this drawer and get into some of the goodies. So here is my power section. This is where I keep all my batteries and chargers, as you can see here. I have a Richard Solo 1200, 1800, as well as the mobile charger. Above that is my storage section, so I have five hard drives as well as four memory cards here. Beside that is two pairs of headphones. I don't use these very often because I like over ear, but I have the Image S4, which I'll do a review on soon, as well as the Ultimate Ear 700. Moving on down, to get good audio quality from your iPod or iPhone, you're going to need a headphone amplifier, and this is the E11 by Fio. Lastly, in this drawer, you can see a few boxes, a retired Apple Magic Mouse, and a few Apple Sync cables probably wondering what's in this mystery box. Well, you can see I have a whole bunch of Apple stickers, a few other adapters, and a pair of headphones. Let's go ahead and close this drawer and move down to below my desk. This is where I keep all my bigger boxes for my Apple products. I have two MacBook Pro boxes, a Mac Mini, a Snow Leopard disc, as well as two keyboards. Beside that is my monstrous 10-inch subwoofer, which is so overkill for this room, but I love it. Doing a 90 degree turn, we can see my bedside table, and on top of it I have my iPhone 3GS, my LG phone, as well as my old laptop. Now the most important part to the room is a good chair. I got this yesterday at Ikea, and it is very nice. Here in the closet I have a few boxes. I know, it's a lot. Well, the reason I keep all of these is just in case I need to sell a product, or if I'm going to be doing a review on it. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. You can see my Rebel T2 iBox, a Yeti box, a 128GB SSD, and my Canon lens. Next, on my second layer, I keep all the case boxes ranging from spec candy shells to charging cases. And on the very side, I have my Ultimate Ears 700 box. On the final row, which is located at the bottom, you can see my power mat, as well as two boxes for my Klipsch headphones. So that was a tour of my room. This is a workspace I use on a daily basis. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see a review on any of these products, remember to leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.